Hello everyone, welcome to Learn with Amin. In this video, we take a look at the most frequently asked question with regards to the VFS application, the annexures and the affidavits that we need to submit. The question that most of the people ask is some of the fields are not editable. Then how do we fill that uneditable field? Do we fill it online or do we fill it with hand? So first of all, you need to understand that the Indian consulate or the VFS office, they prefer that the fields are filled online and that the fields are not handwritten. I would recommend that all the affidavits and sure be filled on a computer rather than writing it with hand because sometimes the handwriting may not be legible. Now you might be asking that some of the fields are uneditable and that is where I have been asked this question several times. So I'm making this video in order to answer this question. So please follow the method till the end of this video. So let's get started. Let's take an example of annexure E declaration of the applicant on a plain paper. So this is basically for one of the application of passport renewal of VFS. Such forms, such annexure affidavits with uneditable feeds are present even in OCI application or other VFS application. So if you take a close look at this, here you see that that I am a continuous resident at the above mentioned address from. So you are supposed to mention a date over here and this is not editable whereas all the other fields are editable and that's where the question by many of my subscribers have come. So how do we fill this? So most of the people what they do is they print out this application by filling the rest of the editable fields online and then they print out and they write it with hand. So sometimes writing with hand is acceptable, but I would recommend that you do not do that because in the instructions by VFS or Indian consulate, it is clear that we need to fill the application online on a computer rather than writing it with hand. Okay. So in that case, what do we do? So first for that, I'm going to present you a method that can be used for all of the PDF files. So basically, even if you're not talking about the VFS application, uh, I would suggest all of you to replace your current PDF editor, which is Adobe to this particular editor because Adobe, it costs a lot if you want the edit features, if you want to edit the documents, but this particular software is completely free and it's going to be free and it gives you all of the edit options. So let's go to the software. It is PDF gear. So as you can see, it is PDF gear.com. The first website, click on it. And here you can see free download option. Click on it. And it is going to download the .exe file. So you can basically download this. It is a very small file not in GBs, it is in MBs. So, so once it is downloaded, you can see the exe file, double click on it, left click, click on yes. It is going to ask you for several options, language, English. You can also select the default option, click on next. Then I accept the agreement, scroll below, read the agreement, click on next, create a desktop shortcut. So you can check these options, click on next, and then you need to click on install. Now this is finishing the installation and now you can launch PDF gear. So click on finish. Now this is the interface of PDF gear. So let me open a particular file. The file that I want to open is this location. 
and I am talking about Annexure E mandatory. So in order to set PDF gear as a default program, you can click on open with, click on choose another app option, click on always use this app to open PDF files, check this option, click on PDF gear, click on OK. So this will make sure that PDF gear is the default option for opening the PDF files. And after you have installed this PDF gear software, you can basically uninstall Adobe Acrobat Reader that does not give you the edit privileges until you have paid for it. Now, as you can see, this is the field that we were talking about, which is not editable field. So you need to go to the option of edit. Then you need to click on the option of add text and then you need to click on here. And now you can basically write December 31st, 2023. So as you can see, you have already written this. Although this is not an editable field, the rest of the fields are editable. You can basically use uh, basically exit editing and then you can click on this enter the data okay and also one of the question that was recently asked by a subscriber is when he's filling in the dob option which is the date of birth for example he was trying to fill 31st of december in us format 92 when he does this after he takes a printout of this particular a form what he sees is he cannot see this two the last digit because in his month and date there are two and two characters so only five characters are visible in that case what he needs to do is he needs to remove this data use this software go to edit click on add text click on the dob field then he needs to type 12 divided by 31 by 92 so as you can see even in this case it appears that it is going beyond the boundary and uh, it would not look nice so what you can do is select the whole text then go to this option click on 10 points so that would decrease the text size and now if you take a printout of this all of the eight characters including the slashes would be visible and then click on exit editing then you can fill the rest of the editable fields so even place and date and then for the signature of the applicant you can take a printout of this form and provide the signature by writing with hand this is how you can switch from the costly adobe option to the free software that i have just shown you i hope this is helpful if you like this video please like share and subscribe i thank you for your support take care bye bye